All right, thanks for uh, checking out Journey Soup. My name's Andrew Lin, and I got something super cool for you guys today. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how to take an analyze list from AMZ Analyzer and input it directly into Inventory Labs so you can start doing your product research super fast. Because if you guys don't know, uh, Inventory Labs, it has a, it's got a calculator so you don't have to use the FBA calculator. And then it has like everything, like it's got a button for Keepa, it's got a button to send you straight to the Prime page to see your competitors, it's got a button to see if you can actually sell it on Amazon. So it just makes everything uh, way easier and then not only that it calculates everything as far as your like net profit your cost of goods and all that stuff So it's great for taxes, too um, So let's go ahead and jump into this you guys can see right here. I have a list so I got a whole bunch of video games from one of my suppliers and Now there's thousands of these on here. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead to our sales rank And I want to filter this now you guys can filter in uh, AMZ Analyzer too. I just do it in Excel, it's just easier for me, or that's just the way I do it. Um, so I want sales rank less than or equal to 2,000. So that should cut out a ton of them. And then I'm gonna go to ROI because that's the other one. So let's say we want it greater than equal to, I don't know, 20% ROI. So we'll do 0.2. All right guys, so now I have a much more manageable amount um, here. So what do we got? Like. I don't know, let's say 30 of them or not even. So guys, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna show you this buy list template and I'll actually put a link in the description for this template. Um, but this is for inventory labs. So this is how uh, it's set up to import their uh, CSV files. So we got ASIN title, buy costs, um, and then list price and then quantity and then purchase price. So pretty much up until here, it all has to be filled out. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back I'm gonna take my ASIN and my purchase price I'm gonna copy that we're gonna go ahead and paste and then uh, list price let's just say $99 this doesn't matter because in inventory labs you're gonna change it we're gonna do quantity one now you could actually uh, I just thought about this right before I did this you could actually import the quantity so you just copy and paste it so it'd be there in inventory labs I'll probably start doing that from now on but that's easy to do, so um, purchase date, well, what is today? I don't even know what today is, so 2 slash 10 slash 18. And then since it all has to be filled out, I'm going to go ahead and copy all this. Uh, it's definitely getting dark, so if this video gets dark through this, my bad. Um, I picked a bad time to do this. I probably should have thrown my ISO on auto, but whatever it might be a little grainy but who knows okay so guys so now that I have this so all I'm gonna do is file save as we're gonna go to desktop and I'm gonna save this as uh, buy list test and I want to come down here in this MS DOS comma separated so we'll go ahead and save that and now guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump into inventory labs and once I get into inventory labs I'm gonna create a new batch and then import the CSV file so should as long as my internet so I'm gonna do a new batch guys if you're not uh, familiar with inventory labs this is where you do like you put um, who you're shipping it from that be your supplier this is where you put your CSV file um, you can do individual products or case pack a uh, quick tip on that is if you do case pack like let's say if I have 30 items going out and they're individual and they get split up well if they're all going in one box I might I'll put case pack of 30 and then just do that I haven't had any issues with it but it's definitely saved me on shipping costs a ton of times so and then you do like small parcel delivery delivery less than a truckload you can change all that later and sell it Amazon seller central so don't worry about it too much we're gonna select our file uh, desktop, what I say, buy list test CSV. We're gonna open that up, process the buy list. And now, this is where it might find things, like if you had a hazmat or anything like that, it might tell you, hey, uh, you can't sell this, or yada yada, but uh, for now, we're good on this. Um, so now they're sending buy list to Amazon for validation now, this may take a few moments. Sometimes I've noticed it takes longer than others. I don't know if it's the internet or what's going on. I also noticed that Firefox seems to work better in Chrome. Like I've had a few times where it like didn't do things. I switched over to Firefox and it worked fine. 
Once again, I don't know if that's my computer getting old or what, but if you do have troubles, try switching browsers. So now, guys, I'm doing, uh, I'm creating the batch. So now we're creating your batch now, depending on the length of your buy list. Buy list, this might take a few minutes. And like I said before, it depends, totally depends on how many you have. Uh, so, you know, maybe if this takes too long, I will fast forward. But guys, so just so uh, to recap, essentially we're getting our list from our supplier. We're running it through AMZ Analyzer. Um, and then from AMZ Analyzer, we're taking that list, condensing it down to profitable items or potentially profitable items. If something's a negative 100% ROI, we know we don't want to sell it. So bam, it's already up. And now I have a list of like close to 30 products already in my inventory lab so I can start doing product research. So guys, what I can do here is so we go into inventory labs, I hit edit. And so I had $99 here, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this FBA because you can see here the fulfillment by Amazon is the green. Um, the red is gonna be fulfillment by merchant. Um, but you can see here they got the buy box with this little O. Also, if Amazon's selling on this too, you're gonna have a little A by there also if they own the buy box. So we click that. Now you can see here it imported the $12 buy cost. Um, so here I'm only a 2%. Um, ROI so maybe I would say hey can I get this for ten dollars and then I'm working with a 22 percent ROI um, and I'd say all right I'm gonna add that to my batch because I think there's a possibility I could get that and guys you kind of just go right through them um, right down the line um, let's say if we didn't want one all you gotta do is come in here delete and get rid of it so let's go ahead and do one more here I'll kind of show you a general idea a little bit more so once again, we got FBA, we're gonna click on the one that has a buy box. We're getting it for 1525. Let's say we want, we had 30 of them. And this is where you also could have inputted this before. Um, so it would automatically tell you how many the company has. Because you're gonna tend to wanna buy all of them, uh, unless you're willing to, you know, if you know you're gonna compete with people or you just don't have the money or something. So guys, so we have this, it calculates everything out. Well, let's say, okay, maybe I wanna see if I can get this for 1325. So now I'm making 28%, I make $3.72. And guys, this is where it gets kind of cool. So you have, you can see here, you have your like keep, I'll do all these and, oh shoot. Okay, so you have like Keepa, Prime, Amazon. This is eBay, um, Google, all this other stuff. But this, these are the main ones I use. So you guys can see here, Dark Souls. We're gonna go ahead and look at Keepa and we can see, okay, look at this, it's been selling it down as low as 700 all the way up to whatever so let's kind of just guesstimate let's say 1100 and uh 1155 so then we go and put that into jungle scout see how many they're selling a month uh then we also have the other one you click on it sticks clicks you over and it shows you all the people selling it so then if we want we can go in here and be like okay frontier hobby shop how many is he selling you know so i can go to my cart Hit this, do the 999 trick. And I now know he's got 14. I can start doing my product research that way. Uh, can I see if I can sell it? That was the other little button I clicked. And now you can see here, I can sell mine. So guys, everything is in Inventory Labs. Um, now Kim, if you're watching this, Kim from Inventory Labs, uh, the, one of the best things that we get to add to help me out at least, or help us out anybody doing wholesale is when I'm going through this in order to delete it'd be great to have a delete button right here because what I have to do right now is I got to cancel and then I got to come in here and then delete and then this so when I'm just trying to go through a list super fast it just uh, it just slows me down another thing is with the Just don't have to put in use you know information that I don't want to because I'm not actually buying all these products um, I'm just trying to do the research to find out the couple that I'm going to buy and then I'll dig deeper into those once I'm at that point so guys I hope you enjoyed this uh, if you guys have any comments let's definitely I'd love to hear from you guys are you guys using inventory labs um, have you guys thought about using inventory labs and would you use this so 
yeah, uh, once again, uh, please subscribe down below if you enjoy my content.